Welcome back to another Crafty Workshop Builds video. Today, I'm going to be installing a boost gauge in an MK6 GTI, so stay tuned. I'm going to disconnect and remove the battery to gain access to the firewall. I'm gonna cut through that rubber grommet and fish through the holes for the gauge. This is the boost tap that I'll be using to connect the hose to the intake. This boost tap has three ports, but for now I'm only going to be using one. Now that the boost tap is installed, I'm going to connect the rubber hose.
this is the boost gauge that I'll be installing. I removed the headlight switch and now I'm going to strip the wrap that's on the wires. Be careful when you're doing this and try not to cut the wires by accident. There are multiple different ways to tap and connect wires. Choose whichever method you feel most comfortable with, as long as you connect the correct color wires from the boost gauge to the light switch on the car. Now I'm going to connect the hose to the boost gauge and install the boost gauge into the gauge pod. There's no need to remove the top part of the steering column. This style of gauge pod is designed to sit on top of the steering column. The idea is to get these wires behind the dash and through the headlight switch hole so that I could connect them to the switch.
I connected the wires and reinstalled the headlight switch. And now I'm going to reinstall the battery. And now you could check to see if the gauge is working properly. The backlight on the gauge should come on when the headlight switch is turned on. And that's it for this one. Let me know in the comment section below about what you think about this boost gauge install. And thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.